new videos every day. Think about the last 10 things that you watched on television or read or watched on YouTube. What impact do you think they had on your mental health? Did it cause you stress? Do you think it improved your life? Um, did you learn something or did it not have an impact? There's a word in the English language called edification. And according to the American Heritage Dictionary, edification is intellectual, moral, or spiritual improvement or enlightenment. It really seems to me that edification is a concept that has been lost in our society. And it seems that fewer and fewer people are conscious of what they're putting in their minds that really does have an impact on their mental health and wellness. Nutrition applies to your physical body. Well, actually, the same thing applies to your mental health and wellness. There are things that you can put in your mind to improve your mental health and wellness, or there are things that you can put into your mind that can cause mental distress and have a negative impact on your mental health and wellness. I personally do go out of my way every day to learn something new, whether that's about nutrition or, you know, a, a newfound disease or some cure that's been discovered or... Um, you know, how to grow a plant or something that can apply to my life. And when I do that on a daily basis, it makes me feel better. It makes me feel like I am in control of my life. I'm improving myself. Um, I feel happier. I just feel like I'm a better person because I'm willing to learn something every day. Now, I know personally for me that education, whether it's, you know, through college or reading something outside of school, studying, researching about the field that I love, nutrition, it makes me feel like a better person. It makes me feel like I can help people, that I can be more in control of my life, that I can do something. And that's really what edification is all about. Once we stop learning and that process of education ends, we are no longer improving our lives. We're no longer growing intellectually or morally or spiritually. Now, nutrition isn't just about what you eat. There's also a whole area of nutrition that addresses how toxins, environmental pollutants, and contaminants can cause actual physical damage to your body. And I believe that the same thing exists for your mental health. I believe that there are things that you do see, watch, or participate in that are mental pollutants or poisons. And I personally choose to avoid those things as much as possible. Now, I personally choose not to watch the evening news. For one thing, it doesn't calm me down. It, it really adds to my stress. It doesn't empower me or make me feel like I have more control of my life. You know, is for instance, a deadly car accident. What's done is done. It doesn't really help me understand life better. I know to be careful when I'm driving, stop at red lights. I know that life is short. And then emotionally, it, it doesn't make me feel happier. It makes me feel upset and distraught that a family is suffering. Think about the last thing you watched on YouTube and apply these questions. Number one, the last thing you watched on YouTube, did it make you feel more calm or did it add to your stress? Number two, did it empower you? Did it make you feel like you had more control in your life and that you could do something about it? Or did it make you feel helpless and that it was out of your control and you couldn't do anything? Number three, did it help you understand life better? Or did it make you feel like you were helpless? And worse, did it confuse you? And then lastly, emotionally, what emotional impact did it have on you? Did it cause you to feel happier? Or did it make you feel angry or frustrated or upset or anxious or apathetic? I learn something new every day. I have several subscriptions to magazines that pertain to nutrition and I love reading articles in there because it doesn't take more than 30 minutes to read something and to learn something new. Now, Just like you want to be conscious of what you're putting in your body and how that impacts your physical health, it's just as important to be conscious of what you're putting in your mind and what impact that has on your mental health. So pay attention. Do something tomorrow that edifies your mind 
and just ask yourself those questions that we talked about. Does it improve you? Does it make you feel happy? Does it motivate you? Does it inspire you? Does it empower you? Or does it have no effect? Does it make you feel helpless or frustrated or sad? So think about those things when you watch something or do something or read something. So again, do something tomorrow. Pick something that edifies yourself, edifies your mind, and then leave a response, post a video comment. I want to know what impact it has on you. I'll see you next time. There are over 350 videos on our channel, and I doubt you've seen them all. And the topics range from weight loss, nutrition, sexual health, all the way to psychology and mind control, and anywhere in between. And I think if you check them out, you're going to find some really interesting stuff.